This video will show you how to install a conversion kit, which will convert your unit from using one fuel type to another, i.e. changing it from propane to natural gas on your 5 liter Murray tankless water heater. It would be best to remove this unit from the wall and place it horizontally on a table or workbench and use an impact driver to remove all the screws in this process. Start by removing the knobs by pulling them straight off and then remove the cover screws. There are two located on the bottom and two on the top. Next, remove the cover by lifting up. This shot shows the two parts you should have received to perform your conversion. One part is your gas valve stem and the second piece is your new burner rail. Start by removing the two screws that secure the retaining plate of the gas valve stem. Please note, leave the screw securing the ground wire in place. Slide the retaining plate off the valve stem, then Pull the stem directly out from the unit. Please take note of the different size orifices of your gas valve stem in case you get them mixed up. The gas valve stem with the larger orifice is natural gas and the valve stem with the smaller orifices is used for propane. Next, insert the stem back into the gas valve with the guide pin positioned at 12 o'clock. Slide the gas valve stem retaining plate onto the stem and then reinsert the two screws that secure the retaining plate to the gas valve. Now we will want to start removing the burner assembly. Disconnect the three black wires running from the ignition to the burner assembly. There are two screws that secure the burner assembly to the brass water valve assembly. It is very important to start with the bottom screw that can be located through the access hole at the bottom of your case. Next, remove the top screw that secures the burner assembly to the water valve assembly. You may now remove your burner. Please take caution and do not lose the small rubber o-ring that provides the seal between the burner assembly and the water valve assembly seen here. At this point, you may want to separate your burner rail from the rest of the assembly by removing the two brass colored screws, followed by the two silver screws to remove the flame guard.
can identify your burner rails via the stamp on the front by the winter summer selecting knob. The assembly with the 0.73 stamp is used for propane and the one with 1.1 stamp is used for natural gas. Now you're ready to begin reinstalling your new burner rail into the rest of the assembly. Make sure the pegs at the back of the burner rail rest inside the punch outs and secure the two parts together with the brass colored screws. Followed by the two silver screws for the flame guard. Insert the burner assembly as seen here, and start by partially reinserting the top screw that secures the burner assembly to the brass water valve assembly. Next, carefully insert the bottom screw through the access port on the bottom of the case and secure it firmly in place on the back of the burner. Go back and snug up the first screw. Please be sure that both screws are very securely fastened. to reconnect the three black wires that we previously removed. Please note that the black wire with the blue tape needs to be connected to your thermocouple sensor, which is identified by being the long pin suspended over the burner surface. Finally, you are ready to replace your front cover. Reconnect the knobs on the front of the unit. With the knobs holding the front cover in place, you are ready to insert the top two and bottom two screws that secure the front cover. Please spray your gas connection with glass cleaner or soapy water. If you see bubbles, you have a leak and will want to loosen your connection and retighten. Please be sure to use a backup wrench when you are performing this connection. Next, reconnect the water supply lines and you are ready to activate your unit.